ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing all right. Let me just make sure that my camera's focused. <laughs> um, just coming on, I'm doing a quick project. Well, when I say quick, I don't mean quick. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm doing a um, finish, a mask. Let me just see if you can see. There we go. Um, I did um, a kit for this, actually, um, over on Scrimpies on um, my Facebook group and so some of the ladies will be getting theirs in the next day or so and um, I actually held one back so that I could do one myself to um, uh, maybe give him a bit of inspiration but I just really wanted to do one as well to be honest <laughs> so I did save myself one it's not often that I have um, goods from my own shop but I just really really wanted to do one of these so um, what I've done is they are absolutely beautiful they're full size masks and they're quite sturdy and they're nicely shaped so what I've done is I have layered they're already painted um, so you don't need to paint them and I've layered mine with a piece of just I just used a piece of a, a, like lace net and I cut a piece and I laid it over and I um, applied the Anita's tacky glue all over the mask and then just gently pressed the lace over so that it went on all the contours and then I left it to dry completely and then I trimmed it out using uh, my little snips um, you know do it very carefully and take time and it'll look really pretty and then um, some of the ladies have actually got some really nice diamond to trim in their kits um, I didn't want to use the diamond trim on mine because um, it's not a cheap one <laughs> that I've got it's quite a dear one and I, to be honest I wanted to save it for something else so I've utilized these little bling stickers that came on you know they come on like a sheet and you peel them off and stick them on I don't know where my sheet is so I've just utilized those just to go around the eye shape there and what I've also done um, is I we had these lovely baby ostrich feathers um, in the kit and I've also made this beautiful, beautiful flower. I've used this lovely delicate lace here, um, which I'm, I'm getting in shortly. Uh, and then I've just used loads and loads of different um, laces and dangles and then these beautiful flower centres. I may well trim that down once it's on the mask because it might be too long, but I've just done loads of different layers. So it's all nice and touchy-feely. So what I'm doing now, what I'm in the process of doing now is um, I've got some um, delicate, this delicate lace I did give to the ladies and I'm going to uh, perhaps go around the edge of the mask with it. I'll, I'll have to watch my minutes because I don't like my videos to be too long or else they don't always want to load. Um, so I'm going to start at the corner here very very gently in fact I'm just going to put something what can I put on there uh, I don't want the um, the nice side of my mask to get um, dusty or, or marked so I'm just going to put it, a piece of paper under it and then I'm just going to gently use my fine nozzle uh, glue gun and just gently run hot glue around the edge on the inside a little bit at a time and then I'm going to attach this little trim so that the just the fr the just the th the, 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 the frill <laughs> again I'm tied then just so that the frill protrudes over the edge of the mask and I think that'll look super pretty let me just put my reel over here um my glue gun uh so we'll see how it goes and see how it looks and just do a little bit at a time um, so that you can do it really carefully and just gently press it on and just follow the contour of the mask okay um, and I'll just keep doing that for a while and I'll go all the way around with this little frill and then you could go around with another frill. I'm not going to stay on film and do it all. I'm going to do it off camera. Um, but I just wanted to show the ladies how nice that edge looks with your overlay of lace. Although the kit had a different lace in. This is just a scrap piece that I had left over. I didn't treat myself to the full to the full jobbies. <laughs> um, so this is going to look really cute. And then obviously 
this will go this flower which you can easily make you don't need telling how to make a flower we'll just go at the side there with the with the feather underneath and then I've got these embellishments which actually came off of an old pair of shoes of my, uh, that belonged to my little girl um, she was a bridesmaid last year and she's grown out of the shoes but I had my eye on the blings since like the day she got them and I knew as soon as she grew out of the shoes that I were having them <laughs> so I've prized them off and I'm going to put one just to the side there like so okay so that is the bare basics of what I'm going to do so I'm going to go away and I'm going to complete some more and then I'll come back and I'll show you when I've done thanks for watching bye for now